Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to start a project on the wireless weather station and we're going to be talking about these radios today. This is the most basic radio system you can get for the Arduino. This is the transmitter and this is the receiver. And if we look at these, let's focus in here. I mean, you can see there's nothing to it. There is a uh, oscillator here, a couple of coils, a uh, transistor, a couple of resistors, capacitor. But this is the transmitting unit. And it has three pins, ground, VCC, data. It's five volt compatible, pretty simple. And with these two coils here for the antenna, it's good for a couple of feet. Now you notice there is an antenna via here where you can solder in an antenna. And depending on the frequency of your oscillator, uh, you can have different lengths for your uh, quarter wave antenna. And we'll get into that in another part. But for now, we're just going to be doing this on the desktop so it functions fine like this. Now we have the receiver, which is a little more complicated, but not much. Now, come on, are you going to focus for me? Somewhat, huh? One more try. There we go. Okay, so there's our receiver. You can see there's an inductor there, that green thing, the antenna, there's a trimmer capacitor. Basically everything's on the front of the board there. And even though this has four pins, there are really only three. Ground, the two data pins in the middle are bridged together and VCC. So the setup is incredibly simple. Let's first look at our transmitter. So we have the Nano here. We have an LED that's going to blink when it's transmitting. We have the transmitter and right now we have the DHT11 sensor. We're going to add a um, rain detector into this into the, in the future, but for now, this is all we need to test it out. So the DHT11 and the transmitter both get ground and VCC. The signal from the DHT11 is going over here to D4. And the signal from the transmitter is going to D12. Now the receiver. Again, we have a nano, an LED to blink when it is receiving, and the receiver. Nano is outputting five volts in ground. The receiver is picking up the ground, the five volts, and the receive pin is coming over to D12. That's it for the setup. Pretty simple. Let's look at the code. All right, guys, we are going to start with the transmitter code. We have two libraries. The first is Virtual Wire, which handles the uh, I.O. for the radios, and DHT for our temperature and humidity sensor. Two defines, DHT pin is 4, and DHT type is 11. You need to uh, adjust that for whatever type of sensor you're using. A couple of constant integers. Uh, LED pin is 13, transmit pin is 12. So you can see how easy this is. We're only using three pins for our transmitter. All right, next is something we haven't talked about before. This is data structures. Basically, this is just a way of creating a user-defined array of data so that we don't have to keep accessing individual variables in messing around with them. This lets us do it all at once. And if you're not familiar with it, 
there's a link here that you can read about it. And it's, once you understand it, it's pretty easy to use. You know, first you create the structure with the name. Our name is package. Then you define the members, temperature, humidity. Then you have a type defined and the name of the object, which is what we'll be using called data. So when we want to access these variables, we call data dot temperature and data dot humidity. It works out pretty well. One library call, we're going to create an instance of DHT called lowercase DHT with the arguments DHT pin and DHT type. Now for our setup, the first thing we have is VW set TX pin. And that is set with the argument of transmit pin. Then we have VW set PTT inverted with the argument true. We are going to set it up at 500 bits. You can go higher than this. Lower speed, a little bit more reliable. And our pin mode for LED pin is of course output. Now we have our main loop. The first thing we're going to do is light up the LED. We're going to call a function called read sensor. And it just starts the DHT, waits a second, and gets our two readings, humidity and temperature, and puts them in that data structure. You see data.humidity, data.temperature. Pretty simple. Then we are going to send that data over the radio using the command VW send and the arguments here in the data structure. You see we have, we are sending the data and it is the type unsigned integer eight and the size of the data, we need to tell it how big the data is and it gets that using this size of function. Then we wait till it's sent, pin goes low and we wait two seconds. That's it. That's the whole transmit code. Pretty simple. Now let's look at the receiver code. Only one library, the virtual wire. We have LED on pin 13. The radio is hooked up to pin 12. And we have a temperature character array, 10 long, humidity character array length of 10. Then we simply have our structure again called package. Two variables of the float type temperature and humidity. Package called package and in the package is data. We have our setup. We're going to output this right now to the serial port. We set our LED for output. We set up the radio on the receive pin our baud rate and we start it. Now our main loop we declare these two variables buffer and buffer length they're unsigned integers okay then we do this function virtual wire have message to check for activity if there is activity we like the LED to show us there's activity and we get the message in the variable buffer with the length, buffer length. And those are those two variables we created right there. Then what we're going to do is a mem copy. And we have our destination where we're putting it, the source coming from the buffer, and the length, which is the buffer length. Then we just print it out to the serial port. That's all there is to it for right now. Pretty simple. All right, as you can see here, we've got everything hooked up. And if you watch the LEDs, first the transmit blinks, then the receiver blinks as it picks it up. See how that works? Now, let's open up the serial port and you can see the data being transmitted. There you have it. Temperature 66.2 degrees, humidity 20%. So that is our basic setup for the wireless weather station.
And uh, just a couple notes. These radios are one-way transmission. There is nothing going back. So it's very basic. Now, like I said, we are going to add the rain sensor. And for our receive station, we're also going to add in an LE, or a uh, TFT LCD display. But that will be in the future. Now, in our next video, we're going to look at exactly how the radios transmit and put some antennas on them and do some distance checking. These radios I bought off of Amazon. There's a link below. They cost about a buck a piece, I think. No, about 50 cents a piece because I got five of each for like six dollars. So really cheap. Well, I hope you like this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. If you haven't subscribed yet, you really should. And I still haven't heard from the giveaway winner. So if I don't hear from him by Friday, we're going to pick somebody new. All right. That's it. I'm out.